Hey guys, we are looking at scientific notation today. Okay, this is something we use for really, really, really big numbers and really, really small numbers. It makes them easier to uh, compare, to know how much they are, to add, subtract, multiply, divide. I'll link a whole playlist where we do those things if you need to look at that. But let's go ahead and look at these. On this side over here, I've got really big numbers. We're going to take one in scientific notation and put it into standard notation and then take one from standard notation and put it into scientific notation. And then the same thing over here. These are just really small numbers. Okay. All right. So this is a number in scientific notation. Okay. We have 3.175 times 10 to the ninth power. Okay. It's just a lot easier to tell what it is, how big it is. Okay. If I wanted to convert this, I look at my exponent, which is nine. Okay. I'm going to take my decimal point here and move it to the right because it's positive nine places. Okay. So I'm taking 3.175 and moving my decimal point over nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> okay. What does that mean? I'm going to put zeros in all the places where there isn't a number. Okay, so I'm going to have three, one, seven, five. And then how many extra spaces were there? There were one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that is how big that number is. Sometimes it can help to put our commas every three numbers, right? So there's my number, okay? So what we really did here was 10 to the ninth power. If I were to multiply that out 10 times itself, nine times, that would give me a billion. Okay. So we really just multiplied this by a billion. All right. And got this big number, which like I said, this can be a really hard number to read, to write over and over. So that's why we have scientific notation. It also makes it easier to add and subtract big, really big numbers. So that's why we have it. Okay. Now let's take one that's in standard notation, <clears throat> excuse me, and turn it into scientific notation. So what we do is for scientific notation, we want one number in front of our decimal point. Okay. So we're going to want our decimal point to be right here, but that's not where it started, right? Our decimal point was over here. So we need to count how many times I moved it over. Okay. So from here, to there, I moved it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight places. Okay. So I'm just going to write a little eight to remind myself. I moved it eight places. Okay. And then we're going to write the numbers that aren't zero. Of course, if there's a zero between numbers, we do need to include that one. Okay. But here I'm going to have 2.6603. Okay, the rest of my numbers are zero, so I don't need to write them. Times 10 to how many times did I move it over? I moved it over eight times. Okay, so what I'm really doing there, if I were to put 10 to the eighth power in my calculator, multiply that out, I would get 100 million. So what I'm really saying is 2.6603 times 100 million. Okay, <laughs> so. This is that number written in standard notation, okay? Now let's look at when numbers are really, really small, okay? That's when we use our negative exponents, okay? So here I've got negative seven. Since it's really small, instead of moving to the right, like I did over here, we're gonna move to the left. Think about a number line. When you go negative, it's to the left, right? So when we have a negative exponent up here, negative seven, I'm going to move to the left seven, okay? So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I know it looks kind of wonky. If you have a better way of doing it, go for it. <laughs> but I'm going to have six zeros here, right? And then my number. So point six zeros, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we have that seven, nine, three. Okay. And a lot of times just to kind of help us see it better, we do like to stick a zero in front of the decimal. It just kind of helps us see it a little better. Okay. 
So that is my really, really, really small number. Now what we did here, 10 to the negative seven power would be like we multiplied by one over 10 million, okay, is what we did there. So there is my number in standard notation, okay? Now let's go ahead, take one in a really small number in standard notation and convert it into scientific notation, okay? Again, we are we want one number in front of our decimal place. So right now it's right here, one number that's not a zero, I should say. <laughs> Okay, so we want it right here, okay? So how many places am I moving over? I am moving over one, two, three, four, five, six places, okay? I'm gonna write a six, and remember, it's a really small number, so it's going to be negative six, because when I go from scientific notation to standard, I'm gonna move to the left, okay? So now when I write that number out in scientific notation, I'm going to have 4.43 times 10 to the negative 6 power, okay? Okay, hopefully this made sense. Again, this makes it easier to add, subtract, multiply, divide, compare really big numbers, okay? I will link a playlist where I do some of those things, uh, but hopefully this made sense. Thanks, bye!